If your tank water heater is over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian's strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit tanklessmadesimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. For the last 75 seasons, the NBA has been getting greater. It's been crossing over, crossing borders, bending minds, breaking barriers, and shattering expectations. Because if the league's taught us one thing, it's that we can't predict anything. So don't miss one minute of the 75th anniversary season, where greatness lives on in every game. Visit nba.com 75 to learn more. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your wages are being garnished. We can stop that now. It's hard enough to pay your bills when things are good, let alone when a big chunk of your take-home pay is gone before you even get your check. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné, and I can stop the garnishment and get the creditors off your back immediately, often the same day as our consultation. Both Chapter 7 and 13 provide bankruptcy relief but choosing the right chapter is crucial in a free consultation we can create a plan to get your finances back under your control the chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life please contact me today at choose the right chapter.com that's choose the right chapter.com 90.9 a k-i-s dub that's right man you know you hey can- luigi Hey, Luigi, would you like to listen in the tunnels and the pipes? Uh, you can. You can listen to KISW anywhere you are, whether you're in the pipes, whether you're jumping over mushrooms. All you need is radio.com. That's right. If you got a computer, a laptop, or a smartphone, hey, if you got an iPhone, Android, download the radio.com app, and you can stream The Rock wherever you go on radio.com. Let's play B-Mix. It's time to play the game. Instead, it's Whack It Wednesday. Whack it. Oh, yeah. Whack yeah. It. Let me see everybody do their Mr. Wacky then. All right. Woo! That's right. Yeah. Steve could get whacked today. He's already been beaten a couple whack times it. this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. yeah. I like it a lot. We'll have to see if Ken in Seattle can do the deed. Ken, are you there? I am. Good morning. Good morning. All right, Steve. Get out of here. Oh! For those playing at home, Ken will have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. Ken, you can pass all you want, but you will only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? As ready as I'm going to (laughs) be. The highest waterfall, Angel Falls, is located in what South American country? Argentina. No. Uh, Bolivia. No. Chile. No. What kind of animals are the cartoon characters, Pinky and the Brain? Uh, Pass. Maria, uh, Maria Sharapova is famous for playing what sport? Tennis. Yes. What country are Eclair said to have originated from? France. Yes. What color is the central square on a typical Scrabble board? Uh, star. Red. No. Black. No. Green? No. Dr. Seuss had the popular children's book Green Eggs and what? Ham. Yes. Who played Doug on the sitcom The King of Queens? Oh. I can picture him. I can't think of his name. Pass. How many seasons of The Sopranos were there? Twelve. No. Thirteen. No. Eleven. No. What is the default browser that comes with the Mac OS? <laughs> I'm employed. I have no idea. Okay. Well, uh, Ken got three correct. All right. But maybe those will be hard ones for Steve, and uh, we'll just have uh, what you would call a pitcher's duel. Yeah, this is a tough one for some people. But yeah. you know what? I just actually, I was thinking you wanted the operating system, but actually that question was easy. Oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah. browser. I thought the, it was too, okay. but. I was thinking operating system. And I'm like, I don't know what it is, because they call no. it like Leopard and, you know. and Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, those yeah. names. And I'm like, what? Oh, but it's not, it's not what you asked. No, that is not what I asked. Yeah, so. See, I'm, BJ was 
paying attention. I'm the dope. Eventually figured it out, but still uh, managed to call himself a dope, so that's yeah. a good day for yeah, me. Yeah, because I wouldn't have got it right. <laughs> I'd have been like, what is it? Just getting mad. Is it then, Godzilla? Uh, what the heck are they calling it these days? It's not Godzilla. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, right. what was that again? That was my Godzilla impression. That sounded oh. a little more Godzuki to me, but... Yeah. Uh, a little more Godzuki. <laughs> Oh, please, don't bring up Godzuki. Why? Please. Godzuki's awesome. Him and Scrappy do. We've talked about this. They are the bane of entertainment. <laughs> they need to do a new uh, buddy comedy or something like they that. They really do. And then they both just need to die like in the first five minutes. Wow. Wow. They're just. Scrappy do and Godzilla just they're get just, destroyed they're just by young Mothra. animals, man. Yeah. That'd be so awesome. I'd pay to see that movie, even if it's only five minutes. Wow. Steve, are you ready? It's got oh, weird, man. Yeah. yeah. The highest waterfall, Angel Falls, is located in what South American country? Um, Peru. No. Antigua. No. Antigua. Uh, Mexico. No. Okay. What kind of animals are the cartoon <laughs> characters Pinky and the Brain? Dogs. No. Cats. No. Crows. No. Uh, Maria Sharapova is I famous for playing Tennis. what sport? Yes. Nice. What country are eclairs said to have originated from? I'm going to go France. Yes. Oui, oui, oui. What color is oui, the oui. central square on a typical Scrabble board? Yellow? No. Yellow. Uh, blue. <laughs> no. Green. No. Black. No. Dr. Seuss had the popular children's book, Green Eggs and What? Ham. Yes. Ham. Who played Doug in the sitcom The King of Queens? Kevin James. Yes. How many seasons of The Sopranos were there? Six. Yes. What was? What is the default browser that comes with the Mac OS? Vista. No. <laughs> Vista. <laughs> nice. I'm going to go Safari. Yeah. Oish. What does LOL mean in internet slang? Laugh out loud. Yes. And Steve, you win seven to three. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Ken. Sorry, Ken. Ken. No worries. Have a great day, you guys. You, you too, too man. Poor Ken. Yeah. This man. Wasn't his, it wasn't his day. He just knew he was outmatched. Yeah. None of the questions were the things that he knew were in his wheelhouse. Yeah. I was stressing at first. I thought I was going to lose. I didn't realize too, but you made it so bad. Yeah. 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 yeah you, uh, you missed the first two, but then you came back very strong. Uh, the highest waterfall, Angel Falls, is located in what South American country? Venezuela. Venezuela. Oh, and uh, she said it the fancy yes. way, too. Yeah. How do you I, say that again? Venezuela. Venezuela. I had a friend growing up who's from Venezuela, and she talked about how beautiful it was. Venezuela. Hey, listen to this. This is America. It's Venezuela. Okay. Venezuela. Speak American. Yeah, it wasn't Fernando Venezuela. Yeah, Venezuela. that was most actually Valenzuela. Valenzuela. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Val. Wait, Fernando Valenzuela. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, it was Valenzuela, not Venezuela. Valenzuela. <laughs> That's a whole different word. Valenzuela. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which you're tapping out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Moving Ring on the to bell. The next Ring the bell, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Now, pitcher for the Dodgers, Fernando Venezuela. Venezuela. <laughs> uh, what kind of animals were pinky in the brain? Uh, uh, rats. The, no. Mice. Yes. Oh, laboratory mice. Oh, they were both mice. Yes. Pinky oh, and the know. Brain were both laboratory mice. Gosh, I was going to say one was a dog and one was a mouse, but they were both nope. mice. Okay. They were both, yep. I don't know. I Just the big ears made me think Chihuahua. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. yeah, 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 he did have oh, that. The brain, excuse me. Yep. Uh, the color that is the central square on the typical Scrabble board. Mm. Is it pink? It is pink. Yeah. Well, why did I guess pink? I don't know. Why didn't you, Steve? <laughs> I, I hate that game, but I still I, I know that for some reason. Uh, congratulations, Steve. You still uh, knew enough, and I uh, got seven correct. Got a new survey. 61% of dog owners don't care about the fact that their dogs lick anything and still say they love kissing their dog on the mouth. It is the, one of the most disgusting things that people do with their animals. I can't. I, I mean, it's just, ugh. Oh, it doesn't bother me one bit. Oh, my. And they lick Lulu everything. Lulu gives me kisses all the time. They lick every part of their body, everything that, I mean, and you don't care. No. Ugh. It, don't, it doesn't bother me one bit. See, then why do you mind people spitting in your uh, in your lemonade at this point? Your dog well, because is basically taking ones and twos everywhere, and then they go, well, it's time to clean. No, I, I, I don't watch my dog clean that area. I know you don't watch them, but what, you, you, you kiss never... them. What do, you, what do you think? What do you what do you think happens? Do you think they just go? Oh wait, Steve, you're about to kiss me. Let me go brush my teeth. Yes. I'll be right back. That's exactly what happens. Is that what happens? She's with got Lulu? a little Lulu mouthwash yeah. that she puts in. Oh, that's nice. Of her. <laughs> wow. Look, man, I'm just a weird pet owner, man. I don't have a good reason for it. You're not the, you're not alone. Sixty sixty percent of people are like you. Yeah, man. I mean, it makes my what day. What is when going on? Sometimes Lulu will wake me up that way, jump on my my head, and be like, ah. See, here's the thing. I I. Here's what I think, and people think I'm crazy, but I, I mean, I kiss my wife because mm-hmm. I'm affectionate, and then sometimes kissing leads to other things. That's why it's like mm-hmm. I just don't understand how you don't go, no, that's the barrier. I will not kiss an animal because that's like what you do with humans. 
I just never once put any thought into the fact that it might be gross. Wow. Do you know that half the people in this survey say they kiss their dog more than their significant other? Oh, I'm Whoa. definitely part of that. Ah! What? Steve. Ah! Wow. I, 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 what? My wife gets a few kisses in the day. If the dog should not get more than your wife. Well, if the dog demands more kisses, I can't help that. <laughs> I'm not sure the dog is demanding this. I really don't think the dog is. I don't know. I don't know why dogs want you to like. All they're doing is just like licking the salt off you. They're I not know. wanting kisses. Ah, I oh mean, look, I, like I said I don't have any good reasons for you, man. Oh, and, and the majority of people say in this survey they would rather share their bed with their dog than their partner. Now, you're not going down that road, are you? Oh, no, but I'm pretty sure my wife would have no problem with me sleeping in the other room, but she would not be okay if Lulu left to sleep in that room with me. Okay. I, I'm all right, I, but I, you're not I, a dog person, so you. I, I can't. I look. It's it's like trying to have this. Like I, I can't convince you of something if you're just not that type of person, dude. I'm. I, I don't. I've owned dogs in my life. I've had them. Yeah, but you've never had a dog that's so excited to see you that it will give yeah. you kisses. I kind of understand where Steve's going with it with the cats because even though they're mostly indifferent, no. I mean, once you know, once you know where what, that it licks everything, that's what I'm saying. I can understand that you want to hug the dog, pet the dog, and be excited about because he wants to see you. I understand the idea; it's like unconditional love that you oh, think it's the, the best dog's feeling in the you. world. Every I look forward to getting but home they, every day because I know Lulu's going to lose her ass once I open that door. I mean, look, even the dog that I had, we had some moments. There weren't a lot of them, but there were some moments where it looked like she really cared that I was there, and I was happy that she. Cared that I was there. You guys give each other like the bro nod. Yeah, so. <laughs> but I'm not kissing her. Fist bump. I'd be like, no, dog, get away from me. You're not getting anywhere near my lips. I mean, I know you're happy to see me, or at least you make it. No, it's not happening. Someone says dogs have cleaner mouths than humans. BJ, figure it out. Eh, well, it's debatable. Uh, yeah. I'm still, they say like their dog. I don't know if that's true. Or I not. I just looked it up they, on Pet MD, and they still have bacteria that can transfer to humans. Yeah, come so, on. I'm still alive. Yeah, I was I was trying to uh, find some sort of yeah. uh, like backing to help you out there, Steve. And unfortunately, no. Yeah, I mean, there's a whole range of bacteria in the dog's mouth. Stop kissing your dogs. Yeah. See, people just will. Here's the thing: we will make up an excuse to do something that we want to do, and it doesn't matter if somebody puts the facts in front of us. I mean, no, I know. Dude, you know, for the longest time, I just thought everybody loved kissing their dog, and then I hear some people are like that's the most disgusting thing ever. And I'm like, I never thought of it that way, but I, I can understand where they're coming from. Yeah, but I'm not going to stop. Yeah, I mean, look, if all of a sudden Lulu kisses. Yeah, I mean, if your wife saw you, if you had the ability, and you know what, either you're double jointed or blessed. If all of a sudden you're cleaning yourself and you go, "Hey, how about a kiss, honey?" I don't think any human's going to want to do that. Uh, didn't you just see the Behemoth video? Well, that's a whole different story. Right. Some people are okay with that. Yeah. it's a good point. Yeah, you're right. I suppose uh, yeah, there's a whole... There, yeah. be a, there, be a, there are three letters that talk about that, I suppose, too. Never mind. There's like a laundry <laughs> list of questions that would come up if my wife came home and saw me doing that. Yes, I mean, sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know how that would go. Honey, it works for Lulu. It works for me. Hey, babe. How you doing? Just guess, cleaning. Guess what I know how to Saving do. Saving water over here. <laughs> Nothing was on Netflix. I didn't know what else to do. Yeah. <laughs> DJ and Migs, mornings on The Rock at 99.9 KISW. Ninety nine point nine KISW, The Rock of Seattle. That's a lovely story. A Texas man wearing only a skimpy pair of pink and gray women's panties was busted on criminal trespassing charges. After he was caught on camera on a stranger's porch, where for, um, I don't know why, he just decided, I'm going to unscrew a light bulb. Uh, again, wearing women's panties, and that's it, though. <laughs> he looks like he's pretty jacked. Oh, dude, the guy's in great shape. Yeah. I mean, he wears them well. And it's very clear because light bulbs are expensive, and he probably didn't have one. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I got to go get one, babe. And she's like, well, you can't go out there naked. So he put on his wife's underwear, and yeah. went, uh, that, that's the story I'm going with. Yeah, you're I'm absolutely sure he's right. He's not just a weirdo that no, just decides to wear women's no. underwear and steals. Very on believable. People. Yeah, <laughs> his name is Michael. He's a heavily tattooed 36 year old. That's another thing, man. You know, I mean, pretty much everybody's got like doorbell cam or some kind of yeah. cam. Yeah. Why are you running around with your, your in, in such an identifiable way? With your tats, can pretty much identify you. Put a snuggie on. Yeah, do something. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you can see his face. You can see the fact that he's had. You know, he's got the tattoos and. Uh, 
Uh, it was posted online, by the way, to hunt this guy down. They took the video and said, look, well, this guy just took our light bulb. Can anybody help us out? Uh, how great would it be if like, his coworkers saw that and like, hey, uh, is that you in uh, women's underwear stealing a light bulb? Yeah, there he is. So Michael was arrested on misdemeanor criminal trespass charges. That's freaky, though, man. You know that, mm-hmm. That's why I don't know if I want to install one of these things. I don't want to know the weirdos that are coming to my house. I, <laughs> I want to believe no one's coming to my house. Ignorance is bliss. Yes. Do I you, can understand that. You also get kind of obsessed when you have one because I have a ring doorknob, too. So what, I get a little notification anytime anybody comes near my door. And then I kind of just sit there and watch. I'm like, what are they doing? Or when I'm waiting mm-hmm. for my package, I'm like, oh, is that the, is that the delivery guy? What's, uh, what's Amazon bringing me today? Yeah. Do you have like a little speaker? Can you talk to them? Uh, yes, I can. And I've, yeah, I could see them and I can talk to them and they can talk to me. That's fun. You also get epic moments like when Vicky bit it you know, when it was Ice Storm in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was awesome. You have video like footage Stevens. of that. Yeah. yeah. That, that, is that, cool. was, ever. that was the Xfinity one at my dad's yeah. house. That's, an, that's a nice reason to get a ring. All right. I might have to get one. <laughs> All right, now now that I know that I can see my package. Wait, I can always Wait. see my what? what? Mm. All right. Well, see, I, I, I would get yeah. one and just talk to the person. Like, I'm not getting up for you, dude. Just leave the package at the door. <laughs> yeah. Stop ringing my doorbell. And stop taking my light bulbs. You, yeah. You, 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 you naked, underwearing guy, you. God, that is freaky, though. Just some naked, some guy, pretty much naked, just wearing women's underwear, stealing your light bulb. And the fact that he is jacked kind of makes it even more freaky. Yeah. It's like, okay, what is going on with you, buddy? <laughs> It's the lukewarm topic of the day. See, it used to be fun living in a neighborhood. Now you just don't know what kind of freak shows you're moving into. You know, you just don't know. Yeah, so you always are pleasantly. At least for me, whenever like a new neighbor's coming, you're like, "Oh, is this going to be the one?" Yeah. And when they're just quiet and they don't talk, you're like, "Oh, thank goodness, this is awesome." <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the quiet ones can be a problem, though. Well, as long as they're not a problem for me. I mean, yeah, I, you know, well, I'll, be, I'll be more than happy to go on the news and say he was a quiet neighbor. Yeah. Didn't expect that. I keep waiting. I keep waiting for that because I've had some neighbors. I thought, okay, they're going to come interview me someday. Oh, boy. And I'm going to have to go. He was quiet for he never said a thing. Never talked to him. No. Yeah, there's some strange stuff you can see in your, neighbor, in your neighborhood, which is why we want you to tell us about it. I can't believe I saw blank in my neighborhood. 206-421-ROCK. Text us at 77999. That's a good text. Uh, my neighbor, I saw him like to dr- drunk swim naked in his pool in the backyard. So he would be naked swimming in the pool. Okay, that's a lovely thing. Why are you looking in the backyard? Well, sometimes you just look out your back window. Back when I lived in Brooklyn, you'd be upstairs, you look out the back window, you could see everybody's pool and whatever they were doing. All right, all right, all right. But here's the best part. He said he would yell, cannonballs, get it, cannon." Balls. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sense. Travis, we get it. Thankfully, yeah. we moved soon after that. <laughs> yeah, because Travis. if you've got a two-story or higher house, you are going to have that view. And a lot of times, the kids' bedrooms are on the second floor, mm-hmm. and that's what you're really concerned about. It's like, oh, wait a minute. They can see uh, people's backyards from up here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, you have a fence, but on a, you know when you're in your own backyard, you can't see what they're doing. But you could definitely see Travis jumping in the pool if you're on the second floor. Yeah, if you've got a ranch, you've got no problems in life. You only see what you see on your level. But those two stories or more, oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. I just want to, uh, we had a neighbor that just liked to play the accordion on his porch. I have a neighbor that does uh, the bagpipes across the street from our really? house. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, that person does, no, that's that's yeah. wrong. Why haven't you made friends with this person? I kind of want to start like an Irish band with them and like, yes. do like a drop. So you don't, mi- you don't mind it? You don't it's find it annoying? It's not terrible, no. Is he good at it? Yeah, pretty good actually. And okay. it's like it's like four o'clock in the afternoon. He's never doing it like at 10 o'clock at night, which I respect. Like at that's that point, fair. Do it during the day. It's but. such a maudlin instrument though. I mean, it's just sad. It's crazy. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I don't like the bagpipes because it always makes me think sad stuff's happening. Or Roddy Piper's about to show up, but he's no longer with us. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I suppose you could have that little happy memory. See, right. I think of corn. Yeah. Like yeah. The bagpipe. So mm-hmm. that would be pretty badass. Or they have a, there's a guy, I think, in Portland who rides a unicycle with a flaming bagpipe. Yeah, and the unipiper. The, yeah, and he does the, 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 the Darth Vader song. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I would have a whole different impression if I saw the unipiper. Yeah. Another yeah, he's example, amazing. Another example why Portland is such a normal place. Yeah. 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 So strange. Yeah. It's, uh, not strange at all. Not Portland. I think the craziest thing that I ever saw was back in New Mexico, uh, everyone would get up on their roof for the 4th of July to watch the fireworks. So that was just kind of a thing. So oh. we got up because it's kind of like has the valley. So we lived on the top of the valley and you could see down into like where they do all the fireworks. Well, we got up there one year and we saw people having sex on like two houses down from us. Nice. On their roof. Yeah. But it was like everyone is out with their kids on their roof yeah, and they're they, just going ham. Well, you probably maybe they wanted to finally have that scene in a movie when you're when you're intimate. The fireworks are going off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's there my are, only guess. Yeah. <laughs> they're just drunk and they just said, let's bang. And yeah. some people do like to be seen. 
Mm-hmm. That's like that. That's yep. a turn on for them. They like to know that other people are watching them. So. Oh, absolutely. I was just impressed that they didn't fall off the roof. Yeah, right. Like, how do you do that? Like with a blanket? I, I feel like I would See, fall I, off. I feel like I'd well, fall through the roof. That would be my problem. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. You're you're yeah. you're, you're doing. Oh. I mean, you're taking all of your weight and you're sending it in a you know in a downward position, in a downward yeah. direction. Well, is it was the roof in an angle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're all oh, pitched. They're all pitched oh, okay. roofs. Oh, okay. Because I was like, oh, you know, if it's a flat roof, he's not going to fall off. But that's yeah. Yeah, 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 flat roof. Yeah, yeah, I mean a pitched roof. Yeah, you could. Hello, maybe he was wearing cleats. Oh, to dig into the and that's roof. it. Oh, cleats. Yeah, <laughs> the metal ones. Yeah, of course, the metal ones. Will, yeah, keep you in know, place. Safety for first. Shoes. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I'm just trying to help. You're, you're trying to. Help. You're doing a great job, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Or they have strong cores. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, mm-hmm. they got a strong core. Yeah. Damn. Two zero six four two one. Rock. Text us at seven seven nine nine nine. Fill in the sentence. I can't believe I saw blank in my neighborhood. So this is the craziest thing I've seen in my neighborhood. A Dairy Queen with an orange Julius attached to it. <laughs> Boy, this. Uh, I tell you that this trolling of Vicky is really going never across all hours. We haven't end. haven't brought it to the six o'clock hour yet. But the seveners, the eighters, uh, and this all started in the nine o'clock. Everybody's trolling Vicky all hours of our fine show. Yay. Yeah, and uh, basically because Vicky. Wasn't paying attention when somebody just had said five seconds earlier, hey, you know, Orange, Julius, and Dairy Queen are together. And Vicky goes, oh, I got news. Really? Five seconds later, and was like, thanks, Vic. So he says, my neighbor's ring doorbell caught my boyfriend holding two druggies with a shotgun in the cul-de-sac with nothing but underwear and socks on. Whoa. Oh, that would be like my profile video. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm that guy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the weirdest thing, I mean, I mean, look, we've, how many times have the cops come uh, like to your, your area, to your, to your neighborhood? To my neighborhood, not. Yeah, well, see, we have some cops that live in our neighborhood, so I never know if they're actually cops there for a reason or just they yeah. Live here. It's you know, it's weird. I don't exactly know the origin of it, but you know, I mean, I live on Mercer Island, so that you just feel like okay, there's going to be no trouble. Mm-hmm. And I've had the cops come to my uh, my neighborhood. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. You know, probably four or five times. Well, to be fair, your daughter does live in the neighborhood. I know. I thought so. of it. You're right. She's trouble when she's on that boxed wine. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. And, of course, we had the guy with the wheelbarrow who was just roaming around saying he was doing construction, even though we had no construction going on in our neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, oh, that guy's going to break into homes. Yeah, that's what he's doing. We had, uh, back when I lived up in Linwood at the condo, we had SWAT show up once because somebody had squatted in one of the condos in the back, Ooh. and then there was a 911 call and a hang-up. So... Uh, they, the cops showed up and then, uh, no one would answer and they wouldn't come out. So the, uh, Linwood police decided they wanted to bring out the SWAT. So I got home at like, I don't know, like 10 or 11, uh, in the morning on that day. And there was a cop standing there literally with like a, like an AK or whatever gun they use. Whoa. And I'm like, uh, yeah. uh, and he's like, where do you live? And I'm like, up there. And he's like, not where right. you're going. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, you just go into your house and uh, stay in there. I'm like, no problem. Whoa. Yeah. And they were there for like six or seven hours. Oh. Was it as cool looking as a TV show in the movie? N- they're all just standing around with big guns and I didn't want to go anywhere. So no, it's kind of, it kind of sucked. Damn. Yeah, we had some SWAT team show up where we lived in Linwood. Like, not in our neighborhood, but like around the corner from us. And that was always weird. Oh. It happened a few times. I'm like, at what point is this going to stop? Yeah. It's, it's Linwood, not really. That's, that's the problem. Stop. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah. <laughs> How about this text? It says, 20 years ago, the meth head neighbor crashed his truck into the house and started on fire with him in it. Oh, whoa. All because the little green men were after him. Police ah. arrested him the next day. See, that's what sucks, man. You know, when you're in somebody trying to get to an affordable neighborhood, the, the next thing you know, meth head Mac- Mickey is living next to you. That really mm-hmm. sucks. God, that sucks. Oh, so he says, I saw my neighbor's wife doing something to the other's neighbor's wife oh. on their pool deck. I'm not sure if their husbands knew about it. Yeah. Maybe well, they would like to know about it. I mean, now. Uh, deep sea diving that's is what a tre- you're talking about. That's a treat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, got, I got nothing wrong with deep sea diving. <laughs> well, yeah. If, if, you're not, if, 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 you haven't been, if you haven't had a discussion about it. Uh, see, I, I'm one of those guys that I don't know if I call that cheating. How do you not call that cheating? I know, I don't, because because you know what? I mean, it's the plot of a great penthouse for him. Yeah, don't get I mean, me wrong. But. I don't view I don't view women as a challenge to me. I guess because I still have something they don't have. What is the challenge? Peeing standing up because they probably still beat you at that. Yeah, yeah. There's devices now. Yeah, you're right. And you sit down when you pee. So yeah, that's you, a good point. Yeah. 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 Why do I even know this? Yeah, why do you know this? Or why do you even talk about yeah, it? I don't know why he knows this. I guess I know it too now. But you know, wait, so you would have no problem if you came home and your wife was with another woman? Yeah, I don't think I would. Oh, I would. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know why I should. I get what you're saying. It's the same thing. She's having sex with somebody that's not yeah. me. But for some reason, I'm less threatened by another woman. I don't know why. 
I guess because I feel like, well, at least that woman, I mean, unless the woman. Wait, you don't think that yeah. she could leave you for another woman? Yeah, I, I, you're right. She could. But for some reason, I feel like I still got some equipment that's like, well. Well, you know, they could, they, there are, they, they, they could buy those. Yeah. yeah, but I'm the real deal, though. I well, mean, yeah. I mean, is it that? Well, I mean, at least it's a human thing, okay? I mean, at least it's like, you know, attached to somebody who's a living and breathing. It's better, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, granted, I'm not as, I'm probably not as formidable as something they could buy in the store, but. Well, who is? Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> but I mean, still, I mean, I'm a living, breathing human being. I know, but you're still you. Yeah, that's a Your good point. Your personality gets in the way. Yeah, maybe that's why I'm, yeah, I figure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else like me? Where you, if it was the if it was a, if she was with the same gender, it doesn't matter. No? Yeah, it doesn't bother me if a dude wants to hook up with a dude while I'm dating him. That's ah. fine. It wouldn't bother me as long as she talks to me about it. Well, yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Like if you're okay with it, yeah, but at yeah. least you should be given the opportunity to to, to give the green light to yeah. something like that. Yeah. I agree. You're absolutely right. No doubt about it. If you're doing it behind your back, wouldn't you be hurt by that? I'm just talking about me, but you're right. You should always communicate with your partner about anything you're doing that may be a little problematic. I'm just sitting here going, if I walked in on that, I wouldn't be as upset as if I walked in on a dude. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. Like, I think I could still negotiate and be reasonable if it was another woman. Maybe because, you know, here's why. You're hoping it's going to turn to a threesome. That's what I think yep, I'm hoping. There I prob- we go. That's probably what it is. There, there's There's the probably answer. like, you know, they feel so bad that they were caught. They go, look, no, we, why don't you come over here and then we'll You'd make like, it all better. I'm really mad, but you know what would make me happy? <laughs> wow. I, guess, <laughs> I feel like that could happen. You know, it's like, well, here's what will make it better. What if they said no? Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. That would be horrible. Then that's, I think I'd be even more Then mad I might be. Yeah, then, then if I saw her with a dude. Yeah, then I think I'd be more pissed. I agree with you on that, Steve. If they said no, right. then yeah, then I'm more angry than if it was just a dude. I just gave you a get out of jail free card and yeah. you're choosing prison? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> at that point, you're right, Steve. <laughs> Great conversation. Yeah, at least now I don't want to go to California. <laughs> All right. What? Well, I'm sure Dr. Pokey's just doing what he does. Yeah, Dr. Pokey's not a woman. That's the problem. Oh. Yeah. He probably knows some women. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's look, as long as I'm part of that party. Mrs. Pokey. Pokey. Is, is yeah. Mrs. There's no Pokey. Mrs. Pokey. Is there a nurse Pokey, maybe? Uh, there is a nurse Pokey, yeah. See? There you go. Yeah. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, there's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and, and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or, or bankruptcy. Uh, there's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney and right my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy my job is to help you to to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you what benefits it's going to have for you and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com